Hi, I'm Kimberly Trion, and I'm going to demonstrate tracheostomy care. We're going to start by entering our patient's room, close the door curtain for privacy, perform hand hygiene. Hi, sir, I'm Kim. I'm going to be your nurse today. Can you verify your full name and date of birth? Verify two patient identifiers. Okay, Mr. Smith, today we're going to do some tracheostomy care. Is that okay? All right. So we're going to start by raising our bed to a good working height. We're going to place our patient in Fowler's or semi-Fowler's position. Uh, we'll pre-oxygenate and suction if needed. We'll set up our supplies. Pull our gloves out. And we will set up our sterile field. All right, and then we will empty our supplies onto our field. We'll fill each of the three sections of our um, container with normal, uh, sterile normal saline. And in one of the sections, we can put a one-to-one -one peroxide uh, solution as well. We're gonna put our gloves on. Ideally, I would ask um, another nurse or a nursing assistant if they would come um, help with this procedure and I would test them with just stabilizing um, the trach so that it doesn't fall out or dislodge. Uh, we're gonna remove our inner cannula, unlock it and remove it and place it in our soaking solution. We're gonna remove our dressing, our soil dressing and discard that with our gloves. We're gonna perform our hand hygiene and place our sterile gloves. All right, I'm gonna remove that. Next, we're gonna organize um, our supplies. And we'll place our cleaning swabs in our saline. Next, we're going to clean our inner cannula. So we're going to take our brush and we're going to clean inside and out until there are no more secretions. Discard our brush and rinse our cannula. We'll replace it and lock it in place. Next, we're gonna clean the skin and the flange around. So we'll take our swabs and we're gonna clean approximately five to 10 centimeters around the stoma as well as the flange. We can use this opportunity to inspect the stoma and ensure there's no signs of infection or skin breakdown and clean the flange as well. We will take our sterile gauze and we will dry the skin and the flange. And then we're gonna replace our uh, dressing. All right. Next, we're gonna replace our tie. Again, ensuring we're stabilizing. Um, if we have an assistant, if not, we can always ask the patient if they would assist stabilizing if they can. And we are gonna do the one tie method. When we come around the back, we're gonna ensure that there are no twists um, that might cause some skin irritation. And then we will tie our knot.
We can trim um, any excess tie, and then we will pad our knot. Um, if we use tape, we're gonna make sure that the tape is not on the patient's skin. And then we will check the tightness of our tie. We want two finger widths, snug, but not too tight. We um, will replace our patient's oxygen, place them in a position of comfort, ensure the bed is low and locked, um, and his collet is within reach. We're gonna discard our supplies and our gloves, perform our hand hygiene, and document our procedure.